What's up guys, Bad Hair Day Bubbles here, and um, today we're playing Meet Your Maker. I'm actually really excited for this. This is um, Behavior's new game. So they're the same guys behind Dead by Daylight, behind Hooked on You, behind Death Garden. Um, and awesomely, this game, apart from Hooked on You, it, it kind of takes a little bit of inspiration from both their other games. Um, it definitely got that dystopian future sort of vibe that Death Garden had. Um, but if you've ever played Killer and Dead by Daylight, it's a really immersive first person experience um that just looks really really nice to play um it's a game where essentially you can take two sides of the play two sides of the coin um you've got your own base that you can build up and fill with traps and guards and stuff and try and then other players can try and raid your resources and stuff um you don't lose anything but they are you know <laughs> It is, a, it is a fun way to um, challenge other players. And then you yourself can go raid other people's bases. Um, and then try and have to deal with whatever traps they've got in, in the way. So, anyway. Um, this is my first playthrough. I have absolutely no idea what's going on in this gameplay that you're about to see. Um, so I hope you enjoy. And uh, leave a like if you do. Leave a comment if you want more. Um, or you want to see something else, and we might end up playing a bit of this on stream on the weekend as well, because I actually really, really enjoyed this. Um, but yeah, no, uh, let's jump in there. Custodian. Custodian. Awaken, Custodian. I have rebuilt you once again. I need you. Come to me. What in the alien isolation fuck is this? Holy moly. Jeez. It's funny though, because I, I can see that where this is behaviors game sort of thing. Because like... Not so much from a survivor perspective, but from a killer perspective, I can just I can I can visualize exactly the uh, the design details very similar to a Dead by Daylight. But at the same time, it's more of a Death Garden. Oh, extinction God. envelops this planet. Can you feel its grip upon us? Uh, it has taken so much already. <laughs> Are you the one in my ears, or am I you? The age of humanity is near. I'm not, I don't like this voice. The disease tore through them, destroying the genetics of the infected. Right. Civilizations built upon their shoulders died with them. Shit. But hope remains in the dead. The chance for a cure in those with uncorrupted genetics. The key to humanity's salvation. You must kill for it. Die for it. Bring it to me, custodian. And I will save this world. I don't know, it felt this like a very mixed message. Sanctuary though. is our fortress in a land of death. Activate it. I was wanting to have a look around, you started fucking talking to me. Okay, so Yeah, like I said, it, it, it's as though the the vibe of walking around as a killer in Dead by Daylight has been combined with the more dystopian future look of Death Garden. Um, right. I don't know. I don't know if I should progress it or if I should be looking for secrets and stuff. Sorry, I I played a few games in my time that I like have secrets all hidden around the place. Right. Okay. What do we got? Activate Sanctuary. Also, just a quick comment about that little cutscene before. Um, <laughs> not that I'm going to complain too much about it, 
uh, it does already feel like this game is more focused on the the gameplay itself as opposed to why is gameplay. Um, <laughs> all the people who aren't who aren't diseased have a cure in them, uh, but you must kill them to get the cure. I, I don't know. So it, it, it almost sounds like they, they basically didn't know what to put in here, so they just adapted half of the Maze Runner script. Um, but, okay, cool. We'll work with that. Um. Oh. What a genetic material out there in the bones of the dead. Ooh. We need it, but other sanctuaries will kill us for it. Your advisors are at your command. Clones with special immunities. Crota, Metamorph, Krona, Prosamogi, Elpida. Hello? Through them, I will take the next step in evolution. And a cure will be born. Genetic material lies deep in the wasteland. Um, seize it. Take on the waste and visit the command center. Hello, are you the command center? Hello. Ooh, can I have that? Please? No, okay, fine. Something I learned about these these game about these games is I apparently don't have as high IQ as I thought. Is it you? Well, maybe I do, but the, the these games just assume I uh, I know exactly what I'm. Okay, here we go. Okay, command center, the the one thing that doesn't have anybody new. Sorry, the fucking robot dogs. Just I don't know. Conquer the wasteland, custodian. Stop at nothing to find a cure. Okay, aesthetically, not minding this. I don't know. I've tried to stay away from a lot of teasers and shit um, about this game because I um ever since my Resident Evil Village experience of seeing the trailer that basically just told me the plot. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm a little bit put off of watching trailers. Okay, custodian, the world is dying. You will build and raid outposts to collect the most coveted resource on this broken planet: uncorrupted genetic material. Bring it to me, custodian, and I will save us all. Okay, easy. Raid an outpost, steal the genetic material, Genma, and escape. So that's the the thing, basically, that we've been collecting from Je Dead by Daylight. It's the same deal. Um, so, I'm sh weapon one, weapon two, jump, double jump, grab all. Okay, I will probably forget most of that. Oh. Whenever a game has a grappling hook, it's guaranteed that that game is already a little bit better. Whether that be through, like, web-slinging, like, Spyro... What the fuck's that?! I'm assuming I'm okay? Whether, whether it be web-slinging or, like, in, in the Avengers game where, like, you grapple on using Ms. Marvel's arms. I don't know. Grapple hooks are always cool. Uh, Gen Ma, you want is transported by Harvester. Follow the Harvester from the shipping station to the extractor and you'll find it at the Gen Ma. That was probably the Harvester and I'm just freaking out over nothing. Hello? So, I gotta follow you. Can I, can I race ahead of you? Is that an option? Alright, I can't sprint though. That's uh, it's only, it's only grapple hooks. Gem mat. Escape the outpost by reaching the surrounding desert or returning the to the starting point. Is there a benefit from me doing 
uh, one or the other. So apparently there's no traps on that one. If I go, if I if I don't go via the like normal like escape route, do I need to do something extra or like wait an X amount of time for my gen map to come back? Read this outpost filled with traps and guards. Any damage can kill you, so stay alert. Okay. Uh, destroy traps and guards or evade them. Destroying traps and guards will get you valuable resources. I didn't test it out before, hang on. Uh, let's do it over here where we're not going to be heard. Okay. Oh, okay, so... Can I... Alright, it's not wasting ammunition. I'm pretty sure normally I'd, ha I'd have this limited amount of ammo, so... Okay, so now, our, what I was going to say, though, is that M... It, <laughs> I'm going to have to get used to this, because, again, it's kind of a Dead by Daylight viewpoint, but, like, completely backwards. So, the M2 is the <laughs> is the the uh, the melee attack, and then the M1 is the shoot. Okay. Oh, I'm guessing we don't get a thing to follow this time. I'm doing. Use your weapon to destroy traps. This permanently disables them and they'll drop valuable resources. If you use your ranged weapon, collect your spent ammo afterwards. Bugger. Oh, hang on. I can do that. I don't know if that is that a trap? That's a trap. Synthi as you raid, it's used to build outposts. Take it. Are these like weakened walls? Can I... Sorry. The, 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 the catch to me staying away from spoilers and everything about what this game's gonna be is that I'm, I'm gonna be very, very newbie. Um, but hey, you didn't come to watch me... Uh, be a pro. Jesus Christ! Bad. Okay, I uh, I can already tell this game's gonna require me to pay a lot more attention than I usually do. Fucking thing is, there's gonna be like physical enemies at some point, and I'm not gonna know because I'm gonna be too busy focused on that little dog. Watch out for the guard ahead. Kill it before it kills you. If you use your ranged weapon, and click the spin ammo afterwards. Okay. I uh, I don't mind the resource management element of this game though. Uh, I I do I do respect this. So it's, it it seems that there's going to be a focus on uh. Find parts as you rarely they use to upgrade your equipment and craft new hardware. Take them. Uh... Hey, the problem is anything here could be a trap, and I would I would not know. It's it's like the if you've seen Scream One, where like Randy's like everybody's a suspect. It's like literally anything here could be a trap, and the thing is I don't know. So I'm just I'm just gonna have to whack everything until I'm reasonably confident I know what's a trap and what's not. Okay, right, second wave traps and guards might appear after the gen mat has been stolen. Stay alert. Right.
I was gonna just try and avoid him, but I, uh, recall, recall that I apparently need to, uh, collect resources. Are you friendly? Do you ever turn bad? Can I whack you? Is that bad or good? Can I loot you? Uh, I probably cocked it bit. Cocked it up now. Um... I don't know if that was the first way of try. Are you friendly? <laughs> ah! Okay, look, I probably could have guessed that the big glowy thing wasn't going to be friendly, but like. Again, it's like I said, it's not like anyone said anything. All the game told me was that I needed to make sure I didn't um, waste my bullets. assume that it's randomly generated each time, or at least on this. Uh, I think that's alright. Claimed. Alright, just quickly get through that. My assumption is I can't get rid of that. Um, sad. Uh, traps, traps. I don't know. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Congratulations, custodian. You already take on the savagery of the wasteland. Take all the gen mat you can and save the world. I don't know. I'm not even going to try and replicate the voice I heard at the start. I remember I, <laughs> I remember trying to do the voices for Hooked on You. If you haven't seen that gameplay, by the way, um, the whole series is on YouTube um, that I did. And, uh, God, I did it all within like a few hours and my, my, my voice was done for by the end of it. And you could tell, I couldn't keep up the, uh, the very ambitious voice acting I was trying to do. Okay, now where the hell am I now? Oh, I'm back in, uh, HQ. Yeah, this is my sanctuary. At the heart, it's the command center from which you can raid and build. Raiding and building will earn you resources needed to progress. Okay. Uh, my presumption is this is the next thing I need to do. Raid map. The raid map offers a selection of outposts categorized by difficulty. Each outpost can be raided for gen map link to a specific advisor. Harder outposts grant more gen map. Uh, champion outpost. That sounds like a bad idea. Can I... Oh, it's... Right, okay. I don't think... I don't, I don't think that applies. Alright, let's, let's, let's stick with normal. Weirdly, I can't click on the locations on the map. I've got to... I've got to navigate using this weird menu thing. Uh... Sure. I think this is what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't know. You're entering your You're entering an outpost made by another player. Follow the enemy harvester if you get lost, as it always leads to the gen map. Right. You can adjust your loadout in the safe zone. Experiment to suit your player style. Okay, what do we got? Fault launcher of the Furious Edge. Yeah, I am. I don't, I don't think I've got other weapons at the minute. Uh, that's 
the thing I'm rocking. I don't think any of this is customizable for me at the minute. Okay. Right. I um I'm not I, I don't understand anything in that map in that um in that menu at the minute, so it's probably not worth worrying about. No, that wasn't a helper. Is it in here? Am I going in here? Is that, that the idea? Hello? I think this is the place. Oh shit. Sugar honey iced tea. I don't know what that sound is. Is that a bad? No, okay, sorry. Everything that looks like it could burn me if it heats up too much is bad, in my opinion. <laughs> um, okay. Something to remember later is I'm pretty sure in the other section. Certain tiles I could see, like, I can't remember which ones, but there's like certain tiles showed up a certain way, and then later on there were the glowy ones. So, oh fuck. Oh, I fell for that. That's alright, that's alright. It's a learning experience. Uh Don't know if that's meant to be an alternate exit or not. Uh what do we got? God damn it! Why? I was like so sure that they wasn't gonna activate. You know what this actually reminds me of a little bit? Um, and it's probably a really weird cut for everyone that watches me normally because you're all about my like dead by doubt content usually um but it reminds me of doing like fortnite death runs and stuff <sighs> well when i shoot that Oh, piss. I accidentally shot one of my bullets and I don't know where it is anymore. Um, I don't know about the projectile velocity of this thing. No. Is that good? I was gonna grapple up here, but I didn't wanna get screwed over by something I couldn't see. Okay, 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 okay. God damn. This is a clever fucking game. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's an enemy above me. Yep.
Okay, why why are they changing music? Um That's totally something else out here. Oh, really? This looks like it's gonna be pain to get out of. Oh, God. Spikes, okay. No, it was that. Grab and look up, but I just I'm I'm scared. See, that looks like it should still be active, but I, I, I know it's not because I broke it. No! I already knew what I did the second I did it. Like I said, I I'm I'm not, I'm not I don't I don't think I'm designed for these games because I love going fast and fast is not going to be good in this. Oh fuck, dude! Where is it? I can't remember what the trap was here. Oh, it better not be fucking anything. No, the traps are down here. I remember because I, I was super careful going down the entire thing and I almost set it off at the end. I don't know, that heat lamp, am I... No, it's safe to touch. What do you got? Oh, sorry doggo. Okay, as far as I can tell, traps can't spawn where there were already traps. Because these two are disabled now. There's something. I don't fucking know where it is. But there's something. I was originally trying to figure out why there was all these corridors. But I think the idea is to try and trick people into going the wrong way. Grab something over there. I don't even know how I missed that. Um.
Okay, seems good. I'm gonna fucking take that. Sorry, I feel like I wasn't sitting up straight for that entire time because I was just trying to, like, lean in around. Oh my god. That was challenging. Okay, strength in the Chimera. Each advisor has a unique type of gen mat for you to collect. Doing this levels them up and also leads to the Chimera leveling up. You'll learn earn rewards as you progress. Obviously, they haven't really told me much about what a Chimera, chimera is, but I'm assuming that's the different characters you can play. Uh, gem mat you collect is automatically given to its compatible advisor. When this advisor receives enough gem mat, they can level up and have their materials processed into the Chimera. Uh, the advisor levels up. The duration of their boost will also increase. Press the button by the Chimera to pr process the advisor and evolve the Chimera, providing you with rewards. Evolve the Chimera to earn cells. This lets you unhook. <laughs> unhook. Unlock and upgrade equipment or boost advisors. Continue to evolve the Chimera to receive more rewards. Okay. Right, okay. I am kind of vibing. Other sanctuaries want what we have. They would starve us. So we must starve them first. Right, I'm assuming you're evil. And I can't wait for the game theory that tells me what the fuck you are. But anyway, uh, process advisors. Let's do it. Can't it circulate through me? Fellas, if you're ever with a with a chick and she she says let it circulate through me, that's a that's an out sign, okay? Uh, congratulations on your award for your dedication to the Chimera Project. Keep leveling Gen Mat. Um, click, I can't read today. Sorry, it's late at night. Keep collecting Gen Mat and processing your advisors to increase the Chimera's level. Okay. Claim reward. Because I don't know what either of these do, so there's no point in me reading it out. Oh. Right. So I've got to actually buy an outpost. And my presumption is the more capacity, the better. Okay, tell you what. Let's, uh, I'll just go for another raid. I, um, that makes a whole lot more sense. Hi, <sighs> God, okay, this one's going to be a bit of a mess. Can I just... Sorry, I, d I don't know if I'm being a little bit overcautious. Now I know I've got to look at this shit. And making sure I haven't, like, missed something. Okay, you're safe. Yes. That'll probably be a strategy some people take, is just making their site look like I haven't been trapped. Um...
probably took that a little too fast. I can't want to call bullshit. Fuck. I was about to say, there's no fucking way this is easy. Yeah, so this entire thing has been designed to just be a pain. Because that I, I can see this being the meta is is what they'll do is. Can you go away? I can't hear you. Julia. What they'll do is they'll fool you into thinking they haven't put anything down, um, and then you'll go through the entire thing. Um, get the gen mat, and then at the end, it will, uh, fuck you over. Um, by, by, by basically trapping you inside. Alright, I'm gonna grab it and shoot straight away. Jesus Christ! Holy shit! That was ingenious and fun. I don't know, again, I don't know if I'd call it brutal or, or artistic. It's difficult. It was a little bit artistic, I guess. Uh, and against new players, that's going to be brutal. Uh, me included, but I, uh, I kind of caught on early to what they were, what, what they were messing around with. Yes? I don't know, I, um, there's so many different currencies and shit, I'm not 100% sure what I'm meant to be doing. Um... Jesus Christ! Where'd he even come from? Nice, okay. This is kind of what I want though. I, uh, I, I need the aggressive ones to like... Learn how to play this game better. My bad. I remember the wrong one. Yeah, we don't get better at this game if we don't uh, be aggressive.
Um. Come on. I um I apologize if this is a long video. The uh the alternative is that I just cut out all the time I die. I I feel like you guys are here specifically to watch me fail. I could bet so much money that that is going to lead to something. Um... This is a clever. <laughs> I love it. I hate it. I love it. I hate it. Probably almost cocked myself there. There'll be something at the end. God. Um, sure, we'll give that one a brutal. Thing is, they, they've been fun. They, they've all been really, really fun. I also am getting a little bit concerned because I was hoping to get into the construction part of this today. Um, but I'm. How not sent I to claim a brutal site on it? You'll build a deadly outpost that kills other players. Okay, well here we go. Um. I don't know. I don't really know what the uh, the difference is. I uh, will buy the cheap one, and then that way we can hopefully, at some other point, buy like a super expensive one. Um, but I kind of want to save up and buy some other things, so we'll just claim the cheapest. Sorry, holding things down. Apparently, behavior. You literally have been making updates recently to try and make things easier by making us not have to click and hold everything. What gives? Why Why am I having to do that here too? Uh, congratulations. You have enough synthetic to proclaim... Blah, 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 blah. A br claimed a brutal site. On it, you'll build a deadly outpost that kills other players. Check out the building tutorial to learn, out, learn how. Alright, let's start thine tutorial. I'm excited. 
This should be good. Right, players will raid your outpost. Place traps and mod them to kill them. Yes. All traps can be modified and more deadly to be more deadly. Add a mod to this bolt shot trap. You good there? Open tab supplies and place trap on the tides. So uh, we've got this. Fires a volley of bolts, triggers once. Customize the traps and mods. I'll try adding a mod to change how the trap works. Trap mods, double down. This trap can be triggered twice. Uh, do I need to do that? You can gain valuable insight into how a trap performs by testing your outpost. Test your outpost, try out the trap. Uh, how does one do? There. Um, test from start. Can do. Radio outpost, see how you need trouble. the desert with the starting error. Yeah, this is the exact same before. That on the reset. You bastard. Traps are only one way to defend your outpost. Learn how to kill raiders with guards next. Next tutorial, let's do it. Guards active defenses who can control an area. Bring in a guard to defend your outpost. Um, on the highlight service, where was the highlight? Oh, over here. Oh, I'm in like creator mode, so I can like. Right. Okay, all good, all good. We learning. Okay, I've only got this dude. This is the bullshitter. Set up a troll path for your guard so it covers more ground. Hold F on the ground to read record its path. Sorry, did I read that wrong? Oh, hold F on the thing. Increase the range of your force vision. Okay, seems good. Oh god, I'm gonna have to fucking mute you guys. So so far, I lo I'm loving most things about this game. I'm not a big fan of the fucking moaning in my ears all the time. Um. Yeah, it's the moaning and the fact that I have to fucking hold things down as opposed to being able to just click. Thanks, sir. <sighs> Alright, build an outpost to extract the most valuable most valuable resource on earth, Genma. Uh, 
To extract the Jan mat, you need to clear a path between the shipping station and the extractor. Block the harvester's path to see how it reacts. Okay. We need to get the gen mat from this outpost to our sanctuary. For that to happen... Add a block onto the marker. The harvester automatically adjusts to find a new path for the gen mat extractor. Always choose the shortest path available. Now remove a block to see what happens when the harvester can't reach the gen mat extractor. This time the harvester can't find an alternate path. This broken path is highlighted in red, meaning it needs your attention. Fix the path so the harvester can get back to work. Okay, so this is the way that you make sure that um, things aren't impossible. Because theoretically, if this thing can't reach the end, then it means that it's impossible. Path to the extractor in the shipping station is fixed, and the harvester will ship Gen Map back to your sanctuary. The harvester will always take the shortest path to Gen Map. It will find this path automatically. Oh, so that's the logic behind why there is one. It's not because I'm trying to make it easier for people. It's harvesting the Gen Map. Okay, let's look at the terrain. Outposts uh, built on top of indestructible bedrock. You can build whatever you want on them within the outpost capacity. Blocks, guards, and traps affect this capacity. Each outpost requires a minimum number of traps and guards. To place traps along the harvester's path to reach the minimum. Activate the outpost. It must have a valid harvester path and meet the minimum requirement of traps and guards. Okay. Um. Right. Uh... Oh, can I not place blocks? I can't. Okay. So I just gotta... Ugh. Sorry, I don't... I don't like a lot of the trap spots I've got available to me. I uh, can't mod either. Big. Right. Congratulations, the outpost can be activated and will extract gen mat over time. Raiders will invade it and you will earn gen mat parts and synthite for each of their deaths. Open the escape menu and select active. After exiting building mode, you will begin earning gen mat automatically. This continues even after you've closed Meet Your Maker. There is no downside to activating a down out outpost. Your gen mat will supply will not be affected, but when raiders steal from your outpost, your outpost design will not be damaged. Once your outpost runs out of gen mat, it will become inactive. If your outpost gets enough kills and accolades, you can reactivate it. It's called prestiging an outpost. Right. For this exercise, we'll pretend that your outpost has killed raiders. Skull stones are left in the outpost when the raiders die. Collect synthite and parts they've dropped from near the stones. Checking a st skull stone will display the raider's name, where they died, and how they were killed. Right, okay. Search the dead. Check a skull stone and collect synthite and parts. Okay. Nine. The command center in your sanctuary will notify you when raiders die in your outpost. It's always worth checking the dead because they might have dropped synthites or parts nearby. Congratulations, custodian. Your raid take on the savagery of the wasteland. Take all the gen mat you can, can and save the world. Okay. I'm assuming that's not actually my sanctuary. Or my, um, not sanctuary. Fuck. It's like I said, there's too many terms in this game. Wasteland. Wasteland. <sighs> Choose to run as a lone wolf and bring friends. Build a you're the creator, a mastermind. Try new devious designs and reap rewards as you outwit trespassers. As a raider, embrace death and face challenges laid for you to conquer. Invade other players and get inspired by the daily puzzles. Mia Maker promotes experimentation and will flourish from the community's creativity and ruthlessness. Unleash your devious imagination and defeat skilled players using your mind. In this world, death is a currency. As part of the learning process and 
progression and it's fun. We hope you enjoy yourself in the world, and most of all, we thank you for playing the game. Me and the Maker Team. Okay. It does feel a little bit like this, uh, this game has a bit of, uh, the same syndrome Dead by Daylight had, in that, um, if you play on control on Dead by Daylight, there are so many things mapped to RB, um, unnecessarily so, and I feel like this game is doing this similar thing with F. It's always F, or hold F, or, you know, okay. And, in some senses, I can kind of get that, but I, I get the feeling that's going to get a little bit irritating when I'm, like, trying to do specific things, and there's, like, multiple prompts that all say the same thing. Right, can I build my own thing now? Ah, frick. That hurt. Blocks, traps, guards, decals, props, packs. Oh yeah, here's all the demo down and stuff. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Okay. So, you guys won't have seen any difference, except for maybe a bit of a hair change. Um, but I actually fell asleep. Holy shit. Um, little deal with the camera. Yay, clean. I fell asleep. I, um... After doing like three, so basically, I when I left you, I was doing the creator, uh, creator base thing. Um, I ended up spending hours on that to Your just try and make something I like. Kills another. This is how we save the world, one death at a time. Okay, thanks, Chief. But yes, no, we um we 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 create an outpost. Uh, we kind of customized it and stuff. I'm not sure if I'm fully happy with it, but whatever. It'll do. And, uh, yeah, I then started, tried to start recording again, but my everything overheated. So, um, stuff crashed. Things didn't work. And I got tired anyway, because it was like three in the morning by the time I'd finished all my, uh, crafting and stuff. Um, so, what I thought was that to kind of end the video, we, we could just, like, log back in, see how things changed. Maybe I can show you what I made. Uh, in the end. Okay. Are you working now? I've just had multiple crashes in a row. So I, um... SHUT THE FUCK UP! <laughs> Sorry. I've just had multiple, uh, recording failures all in a row. Um, so... You're not alone, custom. Shut up. I shoulder this burden with you. But yes, basically, I want to record a quick ending to this fucking video. Um... Which, overall, I've been getting... I've been feeling pretty good about this game until I had to deal with this bullshit. Um, I'm going to assume it's some, something on my end, like storage problems or maybe, like, um, encoding issues or something. But still, the fucking... God damn it. You are the only one Shut up! Cross. Anyway, let's have a look at my, uh, my outputs. And God help me if this decides to crash. So, as you can see, this is our build site. Um, I basically decided to, rather than do like a whole bunch of building up top, I, I, I'm thinking I might add some of the, some to this later. Because I, uh, I don't have many... Um, what am I trying to say? Sorry. I don't have much capacity left to put things down, but I could probably add to this top part and just make it a little bit more uh, interesting. Anyway... Um, if you come with me, we've got Bunny Fang up there, and I made sure I'd put decals and stuff all around the place. Uh, I put a Donny here, and then some spikes here. Uh, as well as a little spike trap here. No, it's simple, just for funsies. Um, and then you got to come around here. Oh, hello. So, I think we caught somebody up here with these. I believe it's with this trap. Can I... Killed by the bolt shot. Yeah, so this bolt shot, I believe it's meant to attack... Hang on. Yeah, so this one hides... Wait, hang on. Nope, this is on the first run. 
So, people come through here, they they will come, they'll get shot by this. Um, I'm actually really proud of this, by the way. I, uh, I, I did a little bit of mathematics to try to figure out how to angle it, probably. Um, anyway, it looks like that caught a few people. Wait, hang on, did this? Killed by the impaler. Okay, so this one's on the way back. Um, so I, I, I deliberately organized this so that you'd come over, you'd get stabbed by that. Um, what else have we got? Alright, so people seem to have read this one pretty well. Is that a... I can't tell if that's a thing. It might be. Hang on. Is there anything underneath? No. Uh, but yeah, so I added some crazy cubes. These don't actually... They show up as normal blocks until the second part. I uh, deliberately did things that way, so that way you could run through this area and go up those stairs on the way through, but then it would fuck up your route on the way back, so you had to go the long way. Just to try and mess people up, make people have to deal with different paths they might not have thought of going otherwise. Not to mention that if they go up this pathway to start with, sorry, forgot about that, um, they don't deal with any of the traps that you're meant to deal with on the way up, which means you've got to deal with those on the way down, as well as the, uh, the other traps. I don't know, that was kind of the heart of it. Uh, okay, so no one got caught by these. Um, it's alright, these are kind of just filler traps. Some of the traps I've intended to be, like, proper, like, try and get kills, and the other ones are just meant to be decoys, just make people think. Um... God, this is, this entire section is a bit of a clusterfuck. Uh, is this one? Uh, no. These, uh, pretty sure that one... No, these are all first wave. Yeah. Uh, I gave it a bit of lighting. There's another bunny thing. Uh, speaking of which, I, uh, I'll have to show you something to do with her later on. Um, and then if, if you loop around here, you get one more guy... Uh, I don't know if, uh, I put a trap there, but okay. And then here's the gen mat. So you grab the gen mat, and then you got to run through, and then obviously this place is blocked off. I also, just for funsies, had a bit of space to spare, so I added a ramp down to it, and created this beautiful room, where you get absolutely deafened by generators. I just, I put generators everywhere, I just put a whole bunch of bunny fang. I honestly think it's beautiful, and I think I deserve the most artistic, uh, um, base reward ever. But anyway, um, so this is my, my construction. Uh, and it seems like I caught most people on that middle pit. I, um, oh, I've got a few kills here too, I didn't even know. Yeah, so... The idea with this one, though, was that the bolt shot was going to activate while they were so focused on this. I even put a gen here with the express plan of making people look over here and not pay attention. Uh, and I think, it, I think it works charm. Um, but yeah, no, this is my base. I, uh, I might update this uh, between now and whenever uh, I play this next for you guys. Um... If I'm being totally honest, I've, I'm looking at this game, and I don't know whether or not there'll be a lot of YouTube content for this. This seems like more of a stream game, where we just chill out, we try out different people's levels, um, slowly but surely, get enough cash to, like, build our own shit. Um, but yeah, no. That, that is, that, that is my level. Um, my base. I don't know if there's a way to get you guys to play it, but, um, if there is, I'll let you know. <laughs> uh, and it's currently active so that that way if you set it to active it means that your little bot thing this one here will deliver um, the gen mat um, juice back and forth to this little uh, thingy I don't know I'm not really super sure of the law yet um, but yeah that's basically how things work but yeah no I think that is all I'm going to do in this episode of me your maker I actually am really enjoying this. I uh, I, I like the mechanics. It, it, it feels very, very smooth to play. I'll admit, I've had a few crash bugs, but again, I think they may be... Um, 
more on my end to do with some of my uh, recording stuff. Um, but that's all well and good. We can we can make do. Can I just go out here? No, I can't. Can I? Um, and honestly, I think this game has a lot of potential. The 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 key thing is going to be that it requires the community to really rally around it, as well as the devs to make sure that they keep enhancing it just by slowly adding stuff. Um, it'd be a mistake for them to add too much too quickly, because um, firstly, they'll run out of ideas, and secondly, the community just would probably get a little bit sick of not understanding anything. Um, but at the minute, no, I think this game is actually really, really sick. I actually would recommend it. Um, as well as the fact that you get Deborah Dale at Cosmetics, which is always nice. Um, but overall, behavior... Well done. I'm actually really, really impressed. Um, wouldn't mind an ability to mute this fucker, though. Your advisors have suffered for this project. And yet we must ask more of them. Anyway, I'm going to be streaming on the weekend, so um, make sure you tune tune in for that. I might actually play some Meet Your Maker, to be totally honest. I um, usually try and do Dead by Daylight or... Siege or Mario Kart, but I, um, you know what? I'm actually really feeling this game, so, um, yeah, and we, we can, uh, try out the, uh, the new suit and stuff on stream as well, see, see how that one goes. Um, but thank you everyone for watching. It's been Bubble Sensei. Please like and subscribe, check out my Twitch, check out my YouTube, check out my TikTok if you really want to, but that's not as important. Um, and leave a comment. I'll see you next time. Bye!